Hey, what up? My name is Valley, and you're watching Stash TV. Chasing my dream in New York has definitely been a journey and a hustle. I started off, you know, me and my mom were not very well off, so I had to learn how to work at a really young age. You know, I was honestly taking out trash, walking dogs, babysitting, doing chores for other people, older people in my building, like, since I was nine and ten. And I think that's why I have such a great, you know, work ethic, because I'm like, I've no, I know what it's like to honestly come from nothing and build my way up. Music has always been the thing that's like kept me off the streets, kept me with my head on straight, and it's been a great goal to have like as a kid. I did West Side Story. I did their 50th anniversary world tour of it, and we did. I did the European section of it, and I started off as an understudy for the lead part. And then there was three girls in rotation for the lead and they all got sick at the same time. Um, so I had to go on in, in Paris and it was so last minute and I had to like basically just go out on stage and do it. And that's the craziest experience. But that's like being the bench warmer and then you finally get to like the finals and then you have to play. Like I was the most nervous I think I've ever been in my life, you know, knowing that that's like one of the biggest roles in theater. And I was playing her and it's like all eyes on you, 2,000 or 2,500 people in the audience. Like it was crazy. Well, Rashtam is a label that's like unlike any other, I think, because they don't just sign artists. They kind of keep their eye on certain artists, and then when they feel that artist is ready, then they, they actually like give you a deal. But um, for me, I had been working with Wiz way before I got signed, and I had been dancing, and I had been like working on my music. So for me, I had to prove myself to Rostrum because I knew I really wanted to be a part of that label, but they weren't going to sign me right away. They had to sign me when they felt I was ready. And even when they signed me, they still like had me develop myself. So I didn't like come out the gate like, signed and now I'm out. Like I still had to work really hard and grind to this point right now. And I feel like I'm just starting now, even though I've been doing it for so long. So Dimes is um, the song that I did and the song is basically just about a hustle and a grind, you know what I mean? But then it also relates to dimes, like dime pieces, diamonds, you know, the things that you get out of when you hustle really hard. And I got Wiz on it, which is really cool. He liked the track, he thought it was dope, he laid down the sickest verse. And the visual for it is just really artistic. Um, I'm very fascinated with classic like Italian Scarface vintage things and then like Audrey Hepburn so I incorporated some of those visuals and then I also had an alligator in the video. I wanted an exotic animal that I felt was like represents danger you know and not the typical like tiger or a lion. I was like what's what's something that's really different and really scary and so I chose the alligator <laughs> and I wanted the alligator in the water with Wiz. There's a little scene where he's in the water but it was not in a good mood. <laughs> Honestly I'm so so excited for my EP like you have no idea. Honestly I want to put out this like, really good stuff that represents me and like there's a lot of love in there, but it's a lot of like, um, well, like, okay, I have a song called Scorpio, which is about, you know, a guy who's obviously a Scorpio, where it's like a love and war kind of situation. Um, there's a song called When the Rain Goes, which is about a guy who I just can't get, but I'm waiting for him. Um, so there's a couple like love things, and then there's Dimes, which is about hustle, and then there's a song called Lotto which is also about, hey, making it big, we all want to win the lotto, you know? Um, so it's just like a love and money theme for my EP, and I think it represents me really, really, really well. Aaliyah, I would say, definitely inspires like the edgy sweetness that I think a lot of people say I have. Um, her vocals were just so smooth and just easy to listen to, but it could be over the hardest track. Um, and I think that's something that this industry doesn't have so much of. We have like power vocalists that are just so super strong, like Beyonce's, you know, and Adele's. 
but um, you know, Sierra kind of tapped into the Aaliyah thing a little bit. Um, I'm just a different kind of artist, I think, um, but I still really respect Sierra. I think she's amazing. But Aaliyah was definitely somebody, her whole style, her whole everything was just so fly to me. Um, it's so sad that she passed away so young, you know, because I think if, had she stayed around, it would have been really interesting. Um, I actually I was on a family vacation in Chicago and I remember seeing in the newspaper, I have the article still in, um, in my house. Um, and I remember crying so hard and my best friend at the time, who is still my best friend now, um, was the biggest Aaliyah fan and like we got balloons and we like let them go and it was just like, honestly it was one of those things I feel like when Biggie died too, people that just felt so attached to him, like re it really hit them, you know. Her voice is still so angelic to me, like when I hear it it's kind of haunting because she was just an artist that I really, really looked up to. You know, she's on the whole Maya, TLC, like I, those were those artists and Destiny's Child, like, that I remember, like, I gotta be like that, you know? I think actually for me personally, I think my live stuff is even better than the recorded stuff. Um, when I'm on stage, it's just fun. I have a lot of fun. I performed at Wango Tango in LA, which is a Kiss FM event. And honestly, that was just one of the most fun times I've had in my life. Just like, I love dancers, I love themes, theatrics, like, um, my, because my EP is based off of love and money, I, I'm, I'm gonna definitely title it something that has something to do with that, and I think my show will, like, have an experience, will give you an experience like that, too. But, like, fun. I love fun.